guys, welcome back to Linda's Pantry. So today I'm gonna bring you along for a dessert recipe. It's not very often I do dessert for you, but today we've got a special treat in store. I picked fresh rhubarb out of the garden. We've got fresh in-season strawberries that you can smell across the room that are absolutely beautiful and delicious. And we're gonna make strawberry rhubarb pie. The only shortcut I'm gonna take, unlike my mom or my grandmother, I'm gonna do uh, ready-made pie crust. So uh, if this brings you along, I hope you check out all the links that I've left for you in the description box below and go visit me on Facebook. Check out my Wild Tree website as well as the Zacon Food link is over there. I've even got my address down below. So let's go make a delicious summertime treat, rhubarb pie that we're gonna top with triple vanilla ice cream. Okay, so I've got my ingredients gathered for my pies. And I'm gonna do one nine inch pie and then I got these cute little um, two person pies uh, that I'm going to do for a girlfriend. She begged me to save her a piece, but it won't be fresh anymore, and I don't know that my husband's going to leave that much pie here at home. So I've got strawberries. I have five cups of strawberries and five cups of rhubarb. You want mostly equal, but if you don't have equal, if you have less strawberries than rhubarb, add more sugar. If you have more strawberries than rhubarb, add less sugar. That's the way I do it. So I've got rhubarb that I just picked. And remember, mine is a green plant. So um, anyway, we want regular sugar. And I'm going to use 3 fourths of a cup of regular sugar. Uh, that much because this is a half cup measurement. There we go. And then we've got brown sugar, same thing, equal. It's a really easy recipe to remember. My mom used to make this every summer. We would get strawberry rhubarb pie all summer long and or crumbles. And this is gonna kind of be a combination because I don't have enough pie crust. I used ready-made pie crust, but because I'm making this other one. It took away my lattice top. So, uh, that being said, I'm just gonna improvise with a crumble top. And very simple butter, sugar, flour. Okay, now I want in here, I would like three tablespoons of cornstarch because the rhubarb and the strawberries are gonna let off a lot of liquid and your pie won't set up and you need it to set up. You could use flour instead, um, but I used cornstarch and roughly a couple grains of Himalayan pink salt or kosher salt to pinch of kosher. We need the zest of one lemon and we're going to juice this lemon as well. So, and this feels like a really juicy lemon. I'm really excited. And this just brightens it up, um, adds a little bit, oops, drop it in there, adds a little bit different aspect to the dish. I think I got all the zest here. Sometimes I'll use the zester this way because I can see where I'm at a little easier. And then I just, especially when I want all that zest because that's where all the essential oils are and the flavor. And then I dump it over. So I don't really have to roll this lemon. I already rolled them right after I washed them. So I'll cut that in half. And Put it in my lemon squeezer. Love this thing. The juice and the zest of one lemon. There you go. And I suggest you use fresh just because fresh is best if you can get it. If you can't, you know, you can use bottled lemon juice, I suppose, but you wouldn't get any zest. Okay, so that's basically our mixture. 
in a nutshell. It doesn't take much. And we're just going to mix this all together. Once I get it mixed, I'm going to go ahead and put it in the pie shells, and then I'll bring you back. So in we'll this bowl, I have one whole stick of butter just out of the refrigerator because you, you're going to cut this in. I've got one cup of all-purpose flour. You could use whole wheat flour if you wanted. I almost did, but um, we're, we're splurging. So we're going to splurge all the way, I guess. Um, and a heaping half cup of brown sugar. And my butter could be a little less cold, and I've got a lump of brown sugar here. So you're just going to cut this in just like if you were making your pie crust. And if you guys are interested in knowing how to make an easy pie crust, I can bring you along for that next time. I just... Okay, so my pies are ready to, to top. I've got my topping over here. And so you can see, it needs to be this crumbly mixture. Some pieces can be bigger than others. That butter is going to melt in there and make this delicious. So I just get a spoon and pretty much, this is the pretty close to the same topping I make for apple pie. Um, and you want to pack it on there pretty thick. It's one of those things that you just don't, don't try to go cheap on the topping. And if you hold your hand around the edge, it'll keep most of it on the pie. We've got our little one over here. I hope you can see. Yeah. And this one I'm going to put in the freezer. So what I'm going to do is cover this with parchment paper and then wrap it up really tight and freeze it. And then uh, Michelle over at Just for Sweets can bake this off just like you would any other frozen pie and enjoy a pie she hasn't had since she was 17 so I'm happy to make it for her anyway all right so this one's going in a preheated oven at 425 degrees uh, and you want to foil line your a cookie sheet to have this on because all the liquids and stuff from this will seep out and over and it'll make a big mess so I'll bring you back when it's all done. can you smell that this absolutely has our house just full of smells from my grandmother's kitchen. I love this recipe and my mom's kitchen obviously but um, the pie's still hot. We're going to let it set up. Be patient. Don't try to eat it now or everything's going to run all over. It runs over the edge and all over the tray and so I just scoop it up and drizzle it back on top of my topping you can leave it on the tray if you want to. I just, you never know how juicy your fruit's gonna be. Or, you know, you can kind of play with it and add more cornstarch if you want to, or flour to absorb that. But I really want a full pie. A lot of people don't fill them as full as I do. So this is gonna be fantastic. Little sticky, sugary mess to clean up, but no big deal. I line that tray with foil and I kept this covered with parchment paper the whole time. This was in the oven exactly 55 minutes. So I'm going to tell you that this is still warm and you can see how the pie is spread a little I'm bit. I'm just as happy having it this way. And I think everybody else is too. So we're going to, we've got a little crumb topping right here and some of that beautiful rhubarb and strawberry and let's get some, ooh, beautiful triple vanilla ice cream. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I'm not a big mm. huge sweet fan so this is not so sweet that I don't like it. It's sweet and tart as well that I just really enjoy that flavor. So Hope it inspires you to stay with me. Oh my gosh, that's so delicious. If this wasn't my husband's, I'd be having another bite. But this is my husband's tonight. And um, <laughs> he's he's like in there waiting for his ice cream and, and pie. hit the like button. And if you are, thanks for coming back. Can't wait to see you next time to share another delicious recipe.
All right, guys. See you next time. Well, Bye. hi, guys. Welcome back to Linda's Pantry. So, I have no idea. What, what am I doing this time? <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Today, it's going to be easy. We're going to make the strawberry rhubarb. Boo 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 boo. Dessert yeah. recipe. <laughs> you guys know I don't dessert the dessert. Do dessert dessert. Okay. Do dessert.